Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Ich spreche Sie Deutsch? I don't actually. I want more answers than that. Yeah. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we are so excited because we are going over our Ancestry DNA results. Something we've wanted to do for a long time and finally last year we just decided, you know what, let's go ahead and buy the kits and I get the process started. And we recently received those results, but we've been waiting to open them because we want to do it live on camera so that you could get our true reactions to all of our ancestry results. So I think the way we're going to do it is we're going to read each other's results to each other. So right. Nathan's going to read me mine and I'm going to read Nathan his. Before we really dive into it, I just want to thank you for watching this video and stay tuned. If you like our channel, hopefully you'll subscribe. We usually do really cool travel stuff. This is kind of the start of what we'd like to call chasing our ancestry series yeah <laughs> we would love to be able to visit and travel to these countries where our our heritage heritage is and part of the reason we decided to go with ancestry for our results instead of um 23andme or some of the other ones is because we really wanted to know like percentages of all the countries because mm -hmm. we love to travel we want to be able to visit those countries and so um yeah yeah and i know some other testing um, websites they give you results that are ju they just say kind of general ethnicities or people groups yeah. and they don't necessarily tell you specific regions and that's one thing we're hoping with Ancestry.com is like I know I've got a lot of English in me and I'm hoping it won't just say you're English but it'll say you're English and you kind of um, you hail from this town or like yeah. your roots are in this little region of England yeah. so that make it a lot easier to visit and you know maybe Go find some historical roots and I think they do because they have over yeah. 350 places that they like regions or whatever. So for me, I am really excited to figure out what I'm gonna be because most of my family heritage I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing it's probably English, but right. uh, I do know I have some Eastern European because I know that my great-great-grandfather came from Hungary and he married a Hungarian girl and so my great-grandfather was pure Hungarian. Um, so I know I have some of that in me, and we love hungry. So I'm really excited to see the yeah. percentage of that. So we should actually okay, so let's read my results. Let's get into it. The way Ancestry does is they don't mail it to you; they email it to you. So yeah. if we're gonna be on the laptop. All right, try not to read ahead too much. Okay? No, I'll, I'll definitely I'll try not to. Okay. All right. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> so your number one result is 42% Germanic Europe. Ooh. Does it break down what that is? I'm trying to see if I can get the breakdown. 42%. So, yeah, pretty good chunk. That is a good chunk. So, yeah, I'll be honest, it's not actually that clear, like this large it, percentage. It must break it down more somewhere else. It must somewhere, but I can show you the map. So when it says Germanic Europe, it's focused in Germany, but then it, it extends all the way out in these larger circles, so that could include uh -huh. Hungarian heritage. Okay, your second result at 34% we have England, Wales, and North e Northwestern Europe. Nice. So English, Wales, Northwestern Europe. Yeah. It's within... mostly centered right in the UK. Right. Okay, cool. That makes sense. So yeah, that's... that's I'm kind of so explain. glad that my biggest percentage was not English. Right. Nothing against Germanic the English, Europe. but it's Germanic. What? That's really cool. Oh, this next, um, next one is really exciting to me. I'm really happy about this. You are 10% from Sweden. <laughs> She's got that Viking heritage. <laughs> we haven't told them that's why you're excited. I really Sweden. like Viking stuff, and so that's that's really exciting for me. All right, so that's Sweden, 10%. All okay. right. Next up, we've got 8% for Ireland and Scotland. Nice. So they are separate from England, I guess, because mm -hmm. it's more, that's yeah. probably Celtic roots. Yeah. 4% is listed as Eastern Europe and Russia. And so that's a pretty wide range, and I'm gonna say that's probably just Slavic mm -hmm. ancestry. Mm -hmm. So that would include Hungary, Slovenia, Poland, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Austria, yeah. Romania, Serbia, Ukraine, Belarus, all like Eastern Europe, basically. Um, what's interesting to me though, is so like the Germanic Europe, which is 42%, that those kind of overlap so yeah we know you're at least 
a good chunk Eastern European. So I'm guessing part of that's hitting the German, yeah. Germanic. So maybe the four percent is like Russian or something. Yeah, it could be a different yeah. genetic thing hitting there. And then your last um, listed result is two percent from Norway. Nice. So once again, got some of that <laughs> Scandinavian blood. <laughs> Very exciting. So we, we want to see what the breakdown of, especially the, the largest result, Germanic European 42%, it's kind of vague. Yeah. Let's see if we can figure out where that specifically is. So weird. So even though they're Hungarian citizens, German? they were maybe more German genetically than they were Hungarian. Maybe. That's interesting. Yeah. And then your great grand or the, whichever grandmother way far back that was Slovenian with the uh, Windish, like that's maybe the 4%. Yeah. Slovakia, yeah. And so maybe she was also, she had a parent that was like a German or somewhere else as well. All right, now it's time to find out my results. And I'm frankly, I'm, I'm so excited to find them out. But uh, my predictions up front are is I know I'm going to have a lot of English heritage. I really want to have some Viking heritage. So some of that Scandinavian blood. So we'll see. I'm holding out hope. Yep. So I've got old English roots for sure. So we'll see if it was, there's anything more exciting than that in there. All right, so Nathan. Oh snap. <laughs> you were 71% <laughs> England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe, primarily centered right on England. Yeah, so I saw that coming. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be such a high number. 71%. Okay. Wow. And then the other 29% is Ireland and Scotland. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> so it's 100% UK. Yes. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. That is Dang. so boring. Man. <laughs> okay, and then it talks about here your your migrations. You only have two. Holy um, cow. <laughs> your migrations literally went from England to North Carolina. That is Eastern hilarious. North Carolina settlers. That's exactly where they went, and that's where his family's always stayed. I literally have two regions, and they're both the same place. Wow. Look at right yep. where we still live. They look called at. it. <laughs> So some background on my family is um, both sides of my family have grown up in the same area for like the last couple hundred years and and on my dad's side they trace their relatives coming to America from England in the 1700s and they, and they stayed right in this area. So it's, yeah, I don't have that varied of an ancestry apparently. Your it's siblings just, are going to be so disappointed. Yeah, so as far as crossing countries off my bucket list on my ancestry results. I've already, already, done, already done Ireland, so now we just got to do a little tour of the UK and we're done. <laughs> we got to travel all of Europe to get hers, but mine, one island and we're good. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's, it's okay. Kind of disappointing. I'm still holding out hope that some of that English heritage is related. But if not, I guess I'm just full Saxon. I mean, because this Saxon. is tracing your blood, not just the location. Like, that's, I thought all mine would be in yeah. Hungary, but obviously my Hungarian ancestors were actually German, because even though they lived in Hungary, like, it was yeah. mostly German blood. So I'm going to have to do some research to see how far back these results go. Like, I don't know, maybe it's only set to, like, the one, like the year 1000 and doesn't really cover past that. Because if it was before that, it could have included something that didn't show up. I don't know. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't know, I was under the impression with Ancestry that you got specific, like, wh what town you were in. Yeah. That's why I went with it, instead of 23andMe. Yeah. Like, super specific, but mine just said Germanic Europe. So, it said mostly Germany, but then it still had the circles that could include other places, you know? Right, it says it tests out of 350 regions, but then... I'm not really sure how that works because my main region is England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. How's that a region? Like that's not very yeah. specific. I I yeah. want more answers than that. Yeah. God save the queen. <laughs> I guess. Uh. All right, peace. <laughs> <laughs> if you're an English citizen right now watching this video, you have to leave a like now knowing that you have one more English brother out there in the world. Well guys, thank you so much for watching our Ancestry DNA results reacting to video. Yeah. Stay tuned in the future as we travel to some of these countries that we found and um, maybe learn more about our roots than we learned today. We have a book for mine, Germany. Yep. 
So funny though, because honestly, Germany was Britain. never really a place I, I particularly wanted to visit, but Nathan really did. Yeah. But now I guess. Yeah, no, I still want to go to Germany. We gotta go for cool. me. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go for her, for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.